In this video, I will show you what is actually realistic to earn as an affiliate marketer. So if you watch these tutorials, you'll easily get an impression that you can make thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars per month with very minimal work. So I will debunk some, some myths along the way, and I will also show you some calculations with which you can actually estimate your revenue potential and how you can actually check what your competitors and what these key influencers are actually earning. And also, I'm going to talk brutally honestly about what is the reality of affiliate marketing and passive income and how realistic of a business model it really is this year. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. So can you really make money as an affiliate marketer? Well, yes, but it requires years of hard work and you need to sacrifice everything to it. So for example, I am running this show all on my own. So I have two YouTube channels and a Medium blog and a couple of other software slash coding related blogs. And I'm doing affiliate marketing there with the best of the best strategies. I write the best content and my record is, I would say $25,000 in one month. And usually I'm making like 10 to $15,000 per month. And that sounds good, does it? But let me show you what's happening behind the scenes. I have to work for 50 hours a week at minimum. I used to work 60 hours a week, so I don't even take Sundays off at some point. And that is just the name of the game. So you need to sacrifice everything to it. It is a full on business. And the reason why you need to do this is because there are thousands of competitors. If you want to get views on your blog posts or even on YouTube videos, you need to be the leader in your industry. You need to produce the best content. That is, you need to work the hardest. And now if you imagine that there are thousands of people doing the same as you, you basically need to work like 60 hours a week, at least in most of the topics. And actually most of the topics out there, there's so much competition that it's simply not possible to make any money alone. So you need to hire a team of like 50 people or 100 people. And that is just the name of the game, if I'm brutally honest. So if you want to see similar results, if you want to get to, let's say $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month, you need to be very careful with your niche. So most of the topics that you create content about are not going to make you any money whatsoever. And for example, I have made all my income through AI software reviews and software reviews in general. That's like, well, not all of my money, but like 98% or something like that. And that is the best niche right now. And you are going to work on a topic that you don't care one bit. And that is the name of the game because there is no way for you to monetize your passions because they are other people's passions as well and you will end up with millions of competitors. So um, how would I describe it? I would say that affiliate marketing is all about grinding harder than anyone else on a topic that you don't care one bit about and then you might make 10 or $20,000 a month after a couple of years. So I thought that this is just something that is fair for me to mention. But let's not get too negative because I absolutely love affiliate marketing because during the past three or almost four years now, I have been able to do this pretty much freely. So I run my own schedule. Whenever my friends ask me to join a party or to come to a cottage or something like that, I can go there without having to tell anybody. And also I play a lot of sports. So I go to the gym, I play disc golf, I watch birds, I play paddle, tennis, I go climbing. I do all that stuff whenever I want. So in this sense, affiliate marketing and the fact that I have to work hard is actually worth it definitely because I am not working for anyone else. I'm doing this on my own schedule. So that's one thing. And then another thing that I love about this is that once you fall in love with a process, it comes much easier. And at least for me, this is the key with which I keep on going and I avoid burnouts all the time. So instead of me just writing these blog posts that review software, which sounds so boring and lame, I actually treat it like a business where I see that there is a space where you have a lot of people that are looking for answers to their questions and they need solutions to their problems. And then I come in and I use these strategies to reach out 
to as many people as possible in that space and I provide them with epic content and epic solutions to their problems. And this way, it's not affiliate marketing anymore, but it's just a good old business. And this way, it doesn't really even matter what the topic is that I talk about on my videos or on my blog posts, because at the end of the day, it is a business where I find this group of people who have a demand and I need their demand. And then I just watch the numbers grow and I do everything to make most of that. So yeah, that's how I actually view affiliate marketing. So you just need to fall in love with the process and you need to treat it like a business. And then you're going to get much better results. And now let me show you how you can estimate the revenue potential of a niche as an affiliate marketer. So with these numbers, these are very simple, by the way, you can estimate what somebody is making with, let's say, 100,000 blog post views or 50,000 YouTube views. And you can basically check what is the revenue potential in your niche and what your competitors are doing. And this is, by the way, super important to do before you start affiliate marketing, because you want to make sure that, for example, instead of earning like at most $100, your niche is something where you can actually make at least ten to twenty thousand dollars and potentially even more so these are the numbers that you can run before you do your decisions and these are the numbers you can actually check what others might be earning in your industry alrighty so let me show you how much affiliate marketers actually earn and what's realistic and also I will show you what this blog post has earned so this one has over 200,000 views and it is my one of my most read affiliate marketing pieces of content. Let's start with affiliate marketing in general. So first and foremost, you cannot apply what I'm about to show you in this video unless you are talking about these types of topics. That is, these commercial searches where people are very close to buying something. So if you're talking about best AI photo editing tools or best tennis shoes or best online course platforms and stuff like that, we can basically tell by common sense that people are searching for those right before making a purchase. If you have a random blog post about a random topic, you can't apply anything what I'm about to show you to that because those will earn basically nothing from affiliate marketing. So let's start with the common number. So these are kind of like industry standards. So you, you can use this in almost any kind of a situation. So first and foremost, I have listed here blog post roundup CTR. So if you have a blog post that lists products such as best photo editing tools or best tennis shoes, that is called a roundup blog post. And the CTR simply just refers to click through rate. So right now I'm going to show you a concrete example. So this is a roundup blog post that is listing best AI headshot generator tools. And the CTR just refers to what percentage of people that visit this blog post clicks one of my affiliate links. That is these links here or these links that follow right after. And that is typically 50%. So right around 50% of the people will click some of these if they are convinced to try the product. And then if we have a blog post review CTR, and there's actually a little mistake, so this is supposed to be 10%. But yeah, blog post review is something where you review a product. So for example, Better Pick Review, my AI headshot results. So here I am using this tool called Better Pick, and I have these affiliate links. So for example, this one right here, this one right here, and perhaps at the end I also have something, this one right here. So this number, this blog post review CTR refers to how many people read a review like this. So for example, you can review a pair of shoes or some software or stuff like that. And out of those, how many people typically click these affiliate links? So that is only 10%, because in these roundup posts where you have multiple products, people are not really aware of these products. So they are literally looking for options and then they find this and then they click this. But if you have a review, somebody who is landing on this review has already searched for this review. So they are not interested in clicking the links because they might have this solution or this service or whatever it is open in another window. But yeah, that number is 10%. And then in a general blog post, that number is unfortunately 0%. So if you have like a blog post where you share some interesting facts or if it's a tips and tricks article or some kind of a tutorial even, 
you might see that because there is no buying intent, it doesn't matter how good an offer you make, how good of a banner you insert to the blog post, people are simply not going to click through those affiliate links. And even with million views, you're not going to make any sales. So this is actually most of the time. So if you choose a blog post or some kind of a piece of content, a YouTube video, news article, those usually make zero dollars from affiliate marketing because people are not interested in buying. And then also, in case you're interested, although I speak mostly about blogging on this channel, if you're interested in YouTube affiliate marketing, on YouTube, the click-through rates are way smaller than on blog posts because on a blog post, you're just reading and you can conveniently click. But if you have a YouTube video, for example, like these ones that I have right here, you actually not only should watch the video, but then you should find your way to the description section where you have these links or the top comment right here. And that adds a bit friction to the process. So that's why only like 10 to 20% of the people that watch your affiliate marketing videos, that is videos about topics like this, only 10 to 20% are going to click your affiliate links. And then this is something that at least surprised me a lot. So the conversion rate, which is the number of people that click your affiliate link to the number of people that actually buy something, that ratio is just one to 2%. So yes, even if somebody is searching for these specific products on Google and they find this specific article and they click these links, only 1% of these people are going to buy. So you need 100 clicks to make one single sale or perhaps two sales. But that is crazy. So you literally need like, even in the best case scenario on a post like this, you need 200 reads before you can expect to make any sales. And usually that number is way higher than that. And then last but not least, typically you're going to see that commissions are 10% of the price of the product. And that just basically means that if we're, for example, promoting this product called Better Pick and we head over to the pricing page, and we see that this basic package costs $35. Now, if somebody clicks one of my affiliate links and they head over to this page and they buy this basic package, I'm going to earn 10% of this, which is $3.5. So these are kind of standard numbers you can use to estimate how much somebody might be earning from their affiliate content. And just remember that it only applies to these types of content. So if they have blog posts or videos about random topics, they are going to earn way less than what I'm about to show you right now. So let's do an example calculation. So let's say we have 100,000 views on a blog post. Let's say that the intent is commercial. That is the blog post is about best course platforms, for example. And let's say that the CTR is 50%, as I showed you here and um, like here. And then let's see that the, let's say that the conversion rate is one to two percent, as I showed. So that will give you the number of sales to be about 500. So that is the 100,000 views multiplied by the people that is half of the people that are going to click your affiliate links. That is 50,000 and then multiplied by 0.01, which is one percent, which is one in a hundred, which will yield us 500 sales. And if we estimate this conversion rate to be 2%, then you're going to earn or make 1,000 sales. So on an affiliate marketing blog post where you have 100,000 views, the author has probably made 500 to 1,000 sales in general. And then if we further estimate that the number or the amount of a sale is typically $20, which is a very common number that you see when you're purchasing something online, we can also estimate that the commission is 10%. So if we estimate that the author is going to sell a $20 product, they are going to earn $2. And that gives us a revenue minimum of $1,000 and a maximum of $2,000. So if you have an affiliate marketing blog post that has 100,000 views, it is probably made $1,000 to $2,000. But these are just generic and general numbers. And right now, let me show you a concrete example and how you could use this formula and these numbers that I just showed you to pretty closely estimate what I have made with one of my best performing articles. So here 
I have written a blog post about best AI video generators. So it is this blog post right here. So I have suggested this product. So these are all affiliate links. So if somebody clicks on these links and buy a plan, I will earn a commission. And I'm going to show you the statistics of this blog post right now. So this one has over 230,000 views. And let's use the previous formula to estimate what I have made with this blog post. So that's 237k views with commercial intent because I have intentionally written this blog post to target people that want to buy a video generator. Then let's once again estimate that the CTR is 50% because it's a roundup post like this. And then let's say that the conversion rate is 1%. So this will give us 1,148 sales at minimum and 2,370 sales at maximum. If I search for these AI video generators, you can see that they are a bit of a pricey product. And also in these affiliate programs, you typically earn like 20% commission. So we can say that one sale is on average roughly $50. So $10, $20 would be a bit too low based on what I just checked. And $100 is way too much because nobody's going to pay that much randomly either. So we're going to put it at $50. And based on the research I did earlier, I've actually seen that the AI video generators usually pay 20% commission. So as I said here, typically it's 10%, but in the AI space, it's typically 20 to even 30%. So we can estimate that one sale gives me $10. So now using the above sales numbers and the pricing or the reward that I'm going to earn from this blog post, we can estimate that this blog post has made about $12,000 to $24,000 roughly. So this is based on these standard numbers and based on a little bit of research and based on these uh, commissions and pricing. Now, let me show you what's the reality. So here we have these five products. So these are the ones that are able to earn me because these are actual affiliate links. So anytime somebody clicks on this and buys a product, I will earn a commission. So I have now opened up all these dashboards that will show my earnings. So for the Colossian, it is $2,575. Then for Hagen, it's roughly $2,000. So now we're at 4.5k then for synthesia it is almost 1.5k so now we're at 6k then for deep brain it is 1.3k so we're at 7.3k and then for the base labs if it is 700 so that's roughly eight thousand dollars and then this blog post hasn't earned more because i haven't placed affiliate links to other tools on this list after the fifth result or after the sixth result, I actually didn't remember that this one had. But anyways, the top five tools on this top 10 list or whatever it is, top nine, something like that, these have earned $8,000. And probably if I had placed affiliate links at the rest of the products, this would have made like $1,000 extra. But it's roughly eight, $9,000. And as we estimated, it was $12,000 to 24,000. So it was actually a bit of an overestimation and that's probably because the average sale is not that high. So that's probably like $35, something like that. And there are some disputes and refunds as well. As you can see, we got pretty close. So if I had optimized the blog post, it would have made $9,000. And I said that it was making $12,000 before, before I actually showed you the number. So this way you can get pretty accurate estimations of what an affiliate marketer might earn with a piece of content. And just remember that depending on your niche, you might earn significantly less or significantly more than these examples that I just showed you. So I will show you some exceptions that I have had during the past couple of years. So this is one of my best blog posts when it comes to authenticity and expertise and stuff like that, because I have actually been producing music. Here I'm recommending the five best music production tools for 2024. This blog post even has 30,000 views. These are all from Google, basically. And um, I thought that this blog post would be making really good amounts of money because I know that these music production tools cost like $100, $200 and stuff like that. 
and I know that the affiliate commissions are usually great in the software space. So I was expecting to make like $50 per sale or $30 per sale. So I would have expected this one to make at least like $1,000 for this amount of views at least. But in reality, what turned out happening is that I wrote this blog post and then after I wrote it and after I started to see that it's getting some momentum, I noticed that these affiliate or these products that I'm recommending here, these don't have affiliate programs except for, except for this AI tool that I'm recommending as the top result. But for example, FL Studio, which is something that I have been using for a really long time, they don't have an affiliate program anymore. And the same goes with Ableton. So I'm actually doing this all for free. So this blog post has earned nothing at all. And that is sad because it has 30,000 views, but whatever. That's not, we're not always going to win, so that is an exception. As another, a bit more positive exception, I'm going to show you this blog post. This one only has like 150 views, and it has made over 100, or, or at least $100. And the reason for this is simple. So I'm promoting these headshot generators that are brand new. Those are AI related, so people are already interested and they already have the wow effect when they hear the word AI. And then also these products that I'm recommending here, these don't really have a free trial. So this basically means that somebody who wants to replicate these steps that I'm doing on this post, they actually have to buy the product. And this one yields me amazing results. So I will actually show you the Aragon affiliate program. So the tool that I'm promoting here is called Aragon AI. And as you can see, well, these all these visitors have not come from this blog post because obviously, as I showed you, this only has 148 views and I have brought in 181 views or visitors. But I would say that 70 of those have come from the blog post. And as you can see, I have earned almost $250 with only 181 visitors. So in fact, this is so good that sometimes it actually almost looks as if I'm making like $1 per content view um, here. So I bet that this blog post has brought in about 70, 80 people because it's a direct tutorial on how to do that. People are not aware of these products. They might click these links. So this one has made $100 with just a bit over 100 views, which is insane. And, let, and last but not least, let me show you an example from my YouTube channel as well. So this is my second channel on a surface, looks like a dead channel, 800 subscribers, 50 videos. Um, but yeah, I'm doing affiliate marketing here. So this is a really lucrative channel and it's actually earning way more than most channels with 100,000 subscribers. Here is the AI design your interior in three minutes with this free tool. This video is my most viewed video, 32,000 views. And guess what? It has made $60. So once again, you would probably expect this to make way more than that. But the reason is simple. People are watching this. They are like, okay, this gave me some decent results, but not too impressive. And I actually have some comments where people say that this is not a good tool at all. So that is why people are not even clicking the affiliate link. And even if they click, they are not convinced to buy. So I've just made a handful of sales, even though this has tens of thousands of views. And then actually, here's a purely informational video. So it's actually good that I'm including this one on the list as well. So this is my second most viewed video. This has made zero dollars because this is an informational piece of content. And the same goes with this one. So here I'm showing how to trim a YouTube video. It's a one minute video, 20,000 views. It has made zero dollars once again. So here you can see the pattern. So if I'm talking about random topics where I'm just sharing information and where people are not interested in buying something, I'm earning absolutely nothing at all. Oh, but okay, let me show you then something that has actually worked out really nicely. So this video right here where I show the best AI headshot generators, this has 10,000 views, but guess what? This has earned well over $3,000. And it's actually related to the fact what I just showed you. So in these videos, if you get one click, it will actually earn more than $1. So usually you get like, almost $2 per click, depending on the video and depending on how far 
people are in the sales funnel when they are watching the video. So here I am targeting people that are searching for best AI headshot generator tools. So they know that these kinds of cool tools exist where they can create these professional headshots of themselves. And now they just want to find the best product to try. So here people are searching for information with a credit card in their hands. And once I recommend the best product and they see these results, they are like, okay, why not give it a shot? And then they will click one of my deals in the description and then they will purchase a plan to the product. And that's why I'm earning a lot from this video. So as you can see, I have a video with 30,000 views that has made $60. And I have a video with 10K views that has made like three to $4,000. That just goes to show you how important choosing the topic is and how important it is to target the right audience and to make relevant product recommendations when you're doing affiliate marketing. Now let's talk about passive income when it comes to affiliate marketing. So I hate this for the party, but there is no such thing. And trust me, I have been doing this for three years. And even though I have made up to $25,000 per month, I can tell you that I also have to work like 50 hours a week to get there. So there is no such thing as passive income. And right now I will show you a concrete example why it's impossible to have passive income. So this is one of my most read blog posts ever. And this one has over 200,000 views and I'm doing affiliate marketing in this blog post. So I'm recommending these AI video generator products. And the reason this blog post has so many views is because it used to rank on Google. So as you can see, Actually, these numbers are quite a bit off because this would this should show the total number of visitors, but whatever. This was one of the top results on Google when people searched for best AI video generator. So I was one of the top three results. But let's do the search once again. So as you can see, we have a couple of advertisements. We have four videos. So most of the people are going to click this. And then we have some blog posts that will get the leftover traffic. And as you can see, there is no mention of my blog post anymore. So in fact, if we check, it is right here at the 15th result. And, and in fact, because I'm not using Google Incognito right now, it's probably even lower than that. This one is not getting any traffic whatsoever from Google anymore. So basically this blog post is dead. And for a good reason, this is a year old piece of content and these AI video generators have evolved so much that there's no reason for Google to recommend a year old blog post. So that's just common sense. And also there are so many competitors compared to what there were like 12 months ago or 15 months ago or so. So that is what happens to all your pieces of content. So they will thrive for a while. They might rank for a half a year, even a year, and you might make passive income during that period of time. But then those blog posts will die down and you need to replace that with other content. And that's why you need to be working really ridiculously hard during the entire time you're doing affiliate marketing. And in fact, let me actually show you my earnings. As I showed you this blog post, I am recommending these five video generators. And for example, let's take this one, Deep Brain AI. This is one of the top results. And here you can see my affiliate earnings for this product. So at one time it was making almost $300 per month, just this one simple recommendation. So as you can see, the earnings have dropped from $300 per month to zero. That is simply because this blog post is no longer getting any views because it is no longer ranking on Google. And this is what happens to all of your content. So if I wanted to make this one work again, I would have to start from scratch. I would have to have to test all these products once again. I would have to create this kind of a blog post again. And it's not just about that because now there are so many competitors that I would never see results like this again. I might make it to $100 per month with this product and I could earn a couple of thousand dollars from a blog post like this and I could probably get like 20, 50,000 views. But this niche is so saturated already that it's impossible to replicate this success again. So that just goes to show you what it actually means to do affiliate marketing. So you need to keep on pushing these high quality pieces of content. For example, if we look at this blog post, you can actually see that I have literally tested every single product and this blog post takes like an hour to read. So and then this is like a crazy content depth. If you want to enjoy this, you'd literally have to spend an hour on it. And you can only imagine how long it took to put this blog post together. So this one is 
what it actually takes. And this just goes to show you that you need to be the best. You need to provide 10 times better blog posts and pieces of content than what already exists. And even in that case, you're not going to earn passively. You will earn for a couple of months and then it will die down. 